Okay. Now let's move to uh, another important point, which is the uh, uh, concept of ether and the cosmological constant. And this is actually a little bit related to uh, uh, to general relativity. However, even to special relativity, because as you may know, the concept of ether were, were uh, considered that uh, it's obsolete or not valid after the advent of relativity, because uh, no more. Uh, I mean, uh, the michelson morley experiment uh, uh, proved that the uh, ether have no effect on the speed of light. And that's because ether was sort of as something filling space. Now, with this new uh, theory of the duality of time, ether is itself space. And even Einstein, actually, when he uh, uh, will, uh, overthrew the uh, concept of ether, he said, even at that time, when he uh, uh, was developing his the theory of even the uh, special relativity and also general relativity, he said that the new concept of space-time, the interrelating space and time, is actually equivalent to Aether. However, still Aether was uh, just discarded because no more has any effect. With this new, uh, uh, with this new theory, Aether is actually the same as vacuum. Because now space, uh, the, the vacuum, the empty space is physical. It's not anymore something uh, empty. The, the difference between this uh, uh, duality of time theory and uh, the vacuum in the duality of time theory and the normal vacuum that we think of before, at least not, uh, uh, in, in the general relativity, is that uh, the vacuum of general relativity is a simple mathematical vacuum. However, in our uh, duality of time, Aether and therefore vacuum is physical because it's space being recreated. It has points and structure and, it's, and therefore it's more quantum mechanic, quantum mechanical. So it's like the ground state of, uh, of, of, the, uh, uh, of, of for example, uh, particles and motion. And that's why we said uh, matter, for example, is described by CV while vacuum is C0. So when no external activities happen when zero temperature outside we get the vacuum which is equivalent to the uh, to the uh, bose einstein condensate so this this new ether therefore is actually uh, uh, able to explain why the speed of light is 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 not is constant because as we said c this ether is equivalent to c0 and therefore it's uh, 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 the, the, the speed of light is a motion in the inner level, while the velocity is, is our motion in the outer uh, imaginary level. And because these levels, these two levels of time are orthogonal on each other, they can they don't uh, feel each other. So no matter how long, uh, how how fast we can move in the outer time, we cannot affect the speed of light, which is the speed of the vacuum uh, that is the ether. So they are orthogonal and therefore uh, Aether itself is being recreated as a speed of light and it has no effect on the outside no matter how fast we move but of course we cannot as, as we already proved we cannot move than the speed of light if we try to move than the speed of light and if we ever get higher to, uh, than the speed of light by not by acceleration of course by uh, bearing with other supersymmetrical super particle we will be in a higher level and therefore we will create a new dimension. So, the good news is that when you take this ether into account, you will actually get rid of this cosmological constant problem because this new ether now has energy and therefore this is dark energy and dark matter. So, so if you take it as void, uh, as a level, lower level, which is a ground state of matter, it is dark matter. If you take it as a higher level, which is CC, it is dark energy and therefore this will be uh, uh, the starting point to uh, 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 reconcile the concept of vacuum in the uh, theory of relativity with the concept of vacuum in the uh, quantum mechanics and therefore we will be able to solve inshallah the uh, cosmological problem or problems because actually they are more than one as you know so in the in the uh, in the duality of time as we said the ether or the vacuum is something physical and it is the same as the vacuum. 
and therefore the uh, state of vacuum is CC, uh, C0. However, in the quantum uh, field theory uh, as, as we know it today, uh, because we consider that the, uh, the space exists all at once, all the bands of, of space exist together as we, we imagine now. Therefore, we have to calculate this uh, zero point energy by summing over all the space and therefore you will get actually infinity. But in order to, uh, get, to get a finite value of it, you have to use a cutoff at the blank scale as everybody believes that uh, space, which is actually wrong, but now at least this is a current belief, that space becomes granular at the blank, uh, blank uh, lengths. Therefore, if you enforce this, uh, uh, this cutoff, you will reach a finite value. However, this finite value that you reach is really very high comparing to the experimental value that has been found uh, in 1980, uh, 1998 of the vacuum energy or the uh, cosmological uh, constant uh, uh, estimation. And the discrepancy between them is really very, very huge, which is equal to 120 orders of magnitude. So that's 10 to, 10 to 120. Just if you want to uh, imagine how big is this number, the uh, number of all part particles in the universe, if you estimate them, they, you will get about 10 to 80, which is known as Eddington number. Uh, this actually is the number of protons, but anyway, if you want, uh, if you suppose that the proton is composed of, for example, quarks or, or even any other particle, you may increase this by one or two orders. So you have even uh, uh, 40 orders higher than the number of particles, uh, the discrepancy between the uh, uh, cosmological constant and the zero point energy calculated from quantum mechanics, this discrepancy is really very huge. This discrepancy will disappear in the quantum, in the, in the duality of time theory, because we don't have, we should not uh, sum over all the states. And therefore we should take the average because only one point exists at a time. So if you, if you calculate, if you do this cal same calculation and take the average, and therefore you have to divide by the square root of the number of uh, uh, points or the number of, of, uh, of modes in the unit va va volume, this number is 10 to, 7, 10, uh, 10 to 117, and therefore you will reduce this discrepancy from 120 to, 100, to only 3, and actually even less because there are here other numbers. So this small discrepancy can now be, very, uh, be solved very easily using the various models of quintessence because uh, even now there are many models which, which suppose that if we, if we believe uh, in ether or in quintessence, we could have we could, uh, we could reduce this discrepancy by two or three orders. So actually with these two concepts together, you will remove any discrepancy between the cosmological constant and uh, uh, zero point energy calculated from quantum mechanics.